Today we'll talk about proportions. Let's do a couple of definitions. Proportion, what is a proportion? Well, that would be an equality of two ratios. Proportion is an equality of two ratios. An example of that would be uh, 6 over 9, that's a ratio, and 8 over 12, that's a, ra a ratio. But they have to be equal, they have to be equivalent. And by the way, if you reduce this fraction here, 6 over 9, 3 goes into both of those, top and bottom, to make it 2 thirds. This reduces to 2 thirds. 8 twelfths, 4 goes into both of those, 4 goes in there. 4 goes in there twice, and 4 goes into 12 three times. So 2 thirds also. 2 thirds equals 2 thirds. That's a proportion. One more uh, term you need to know, cross products. Cross products. Some people also refer to it as the, the butterfly method. Butterfly. And it's a lot easier if I just show you an example of it. So we use the same fraction as before, the same proportion, 6 over 9 equals 8 over 12. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of circle this so I have 9 and 8. And then I have 6 and 12. So I'm making kind of like a butterfly, so to speak. What I'll do is I'll take the product of these that are across from each other, 6 times 12 equals 9 times 8. Now it doesn't matter if you write down 12 times 6 or 8 times 9, it doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter because of commutative property, we know the order doesn't matter. So let's see, 7 times 12, I look at this side, 7 times 12, 6 times 12, I'm sorry, is how much? 72. And 9 times 8 is 72. And you can see that this is true. The left side equals the right side. Therefore, this is a proportion because cross products are equal to each other. And this is what this is called cross products. This is the method that we use to see if a proportion is equivalent or not. So again, this is one method to test. Does this fraction equal this fraction? And how can we check that out? Using cross products. Okay, let's go ahead and do four examples. So my first proportion is x over 9 equals 4 over 6. So what I want to know is, does this side, do these cross, does this equal to this? See, so the 6 is cancel. I have 9 times 4, that's 36, divided by 6 is 6, right? Because this equals 36. 36 divided by 6 is 6. Okay, now this is a very simple problem. You could have done this without my assistance doing cross products, but wait till we get to more complex and you'll see why we do this method. Okay, here's number 2. Four over x equals eight over ten. So again, I'm gonna use my cross products. 
Have you noticed that this time, last time we had the X on top, now we have the X on the bottom. So let's see, I'm going to have X times 8, or 8X. So 8X equals, and we have this cross product here, 4 times 10. Now some of this you can do in your head, and that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and go through the normal routine. So I want X by itself, so I'm going to have to divide by 8. Of course, you have to do that to both sides. And that leaves us with X equals. That's gone. And let's see, this is 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So X is 5. Right? Because look, 8 times 5 is 40. 4 times 10 is 40. That works. If you still can't see that, this is 40. And this is 8. And 8 goes into 40 five times. Okay, here's number 3. Now this time we have uh, X in the right-hand corner. So no problem. Again, we're going to do our cross products. Make a, or butterfly method. So we have 9 times X, 9X, equals 2 times 36, or you could say 36 times 2. Either way is all right. So I want the X by itself, so I'll divide by 9, both sides. That's gone. So that leaves us with X. And on this side, I can do some reducing. Hey, 9 goes into 36. 9 goes near once. 9 goes into 36 four times. So I have 2 times 4. That would be 8. The answer is 8. This is almost the same numbers. 2 over 9 equals 7 over x. So let's see, I'm going to do my cross products. So you always start off with a 1 with the x. 2 times x. It's 2x. Then I have uh, 7 times 9, or 9 times 7. doesn't matter the order, because of commutative property. So let's see, I want the x by itself, so I'll divide by 2. That's gone. Now I have x equals 9 times 7 over 2. Hey, wait a minute. 9 times 7 over 2. 9 times 7 is 63. So that's 63 over 2. So in other words, half of 63. Now if you cannot figure this out in your head, then you'll have to divide. Top number goes in the box. Decimal's right there, so you bring it straight up. And then 2's on the outside. So let's see. 2 goes into 6 three times. And that leaves you with just nothing. So now you bring down the 3. 2 goes into 3 one time. And that leaves us with a 1. 2 does not go into 1. So add a 0, bring it down. 2 goes into 10 five times. So there's your answer right there. So x is 31.5. So on some of the problems today, it's not going to be a nice, easy integer. It'll be a, uh, a decimal. So just round off to the nearest tenths.